Let's stand and pray. Basi tusimameni ili tuombe. Our Father in Jesus name. Baba yetu kwa jina la Yesu. We thank you this day for giving us victory. Tunakushukuru siku hii ya leo kwa kutupatia ushindi. We have experienced your favor this month. Tumepata kibali chako katika mwezi huu. Lord, you have done it for us. Bwana umetufanyia. And we stand here to declare things. Na twasimama hapa kutangaza vitu. And they are established according to your word. Na vinadhibitishwa kulingana na neno lako. We thank you for the many testimonies Una kushukuru kwa shuhuda nyingi People who were healed Watu ambao walipojwa People who were delivered Watu ambao walikombolewa Business opportunities which opened Nafasi za kibiashara ambazo zilifunguka Promotions and employments Upandishwa chio pamoja na kuajiriwa Father we thank you Bwana tukushukuru We thank you Jehovah Tunakushukuru Jehovah It is not by our own strength Si kwa nguvu zetu wenyewe It is by your mighty power Ni kwa uwezo wako na Lord as we share the word We ask you to speak to us Do good to the leaders of this church Do good to the members of this church Bless every visitor who Lord And grant them to excel in a great way Father we honor you And we exhort you In Jesus name we pray Amen. Amen. Can we appreciate the art of worship? Thank you. Uh, I have a statement as a topic. Now that we have been in our month of favor, we are calling this topic as follows. Tunaita mada hii ifuatavyo Viva will lead to supernatural recovery Kibali kitaongoza katika urejeshi usio wa kawaida So recovery can be urejesho yes recovery when you lose something you get it back Wakati unapopotesa kitu basi unakipata mara tena You recover something that was made for you it went and it came back unapata kitu ambacho kiliumbwa kwako kilienda lakini sasa kinarudi this message dropped so powerfully so powerfully the day before yesterday ujumbe huu ukaanguka kwa nguvu sana juzi ya masiku iliyo iliyo nyuma ya jana I just woke up to meditate at around 3 a.m. That was the early morning of, uh, of, of Saturday. Uh, uh, oh, Friday, early morning. Then I heard the voice about recovery. I thought restoration was kurejeshewa so I don't know which is which but they may be having the same meaning but it comes well in English recovery Lakini nakuja vizuri sana kwa Kiingereza hilo neno recovery yani kupokea kitu tena ambacho kilikuwa kimepotea Thereby there was taken to first Samuel chapter 30 verse 18 Hapo hapo nikapelekwa Samueli wa kwanza sura yake ya 30 mstari wa 18 The Bible says Biblia inasema 1 2 3 we can read together Tunaweza kusoma sote pamoja David recovered everything that the Amalekites had taken including his two wives Daudi akawapokonya wote waliokuwa wamechukuliwa na waamaleki na naye Daudi akawaokoa wakeze wawili so David recovered everything. Hivyo Daudi akapata tena kila kitu. NLT says NLT inasema David got back everything the Amalekites had taken. Daudi akapokea tena kile chote ambacho Amaleki walikuwa wamechukua. And this is the direction the Lord is giving us. 
na huu ndio mwelekeo ambao Mungu anatupatia is favor continues to operate in us kibali kikiendelea kufanya kazi ndani yetu because i have no doubt favor is working kwa sababu sina shaka kwamba kibali kinafanya kazi the aspect of favor is going to come with a fruit kipengele cha kibali kitakuja na tunda the fruit is going to be the action of recovery na tunda litakuwa ndio tendo la kurudishiwa tena some of you are like david wengine wenu ni kama daudi when when you read this particular chapter unaposoma sura hii you see quite a number of things utaona baadhi ya vitu but before then i want to say to recover lakini kabla hiyo vitu ningependa kusema kurudishiwa tena is to return to a normal state of health mind or strength ni kurudisha katika ile awali ya uh, sawa ya kiafya tena kiakili tena pia kimawazo where your state was supposed to be pale hali yako ingekuwa ingefaa iwe it is being taken back there inarudishwa tena hapo the original plan of god ule mpango asilia wa Mungu according to genesis 1 verse 28 kulingana na mwanzo moja mstari wa 28 listen to me where you need to go back to nisikilizeni pale ambapo wastahili kurudi is to be fruitful ni kufanyika mtu wa kuzaa because god blessed Adam and Eve sababu ni kwamba Mungu aliwabariki Adam na Hawa he told them to be fruitful and multiply akawaambia na wazae na waongezeke fill the earth and govern it wakaijaze inji na kuitiisha can i see what kjv is saying nipate vile kjv inasema god said unto them be fruitful and multiply a uh, new kjv there is a word i'm looking for new kjv yes this is better be fruitful and multiply fill the earth and subdue it zaeni mkaongezeke mkaijaze inji na kuitisha na mkatawale samaki wa baharini This is where we need to be taken back to. Sasa hapa ndipo tunasaini kurudishwa. The recovery is supposed to take us to subdue everything on earth. Kule kupatiwa tena ni kupaka kutisha ulimwengu and the earth dominion over everything. Na kupata utawala juu ya kila kitu. Where somebody lost dominion. Pale mtu alipoteza utawala. And other things came up. Na vitu vingine vikaibuka. Even is saying. Bingu inasema. The Lord is taking you back there. Bwana anakurudisha tena hapo. I am not seeing your faith. Yes, you ni imani yenu. I said the Lord is taking you back there. Nimesema kwamba Bwana anarudisha tena hapo. Can one person say amen? Mtu mmoja asema amina. That is why we talked about a normal state. Hii ndio sababu tunaongea kuhusu ile hali ya kawaida of health, yeah. mind and strength. Ya afya na kinia na kinguvu kiuwezo. It is a process of regaining possession or control of something stolen or lost ni utaratibu wa kupokea tena kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimepotea kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimeibiwa you possess it back unakimiliki mara tena you control it unakidhibiti if it was stolen you get it back kama kiliimbiwa basi unakipokea mara tena in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu when you read john 10:10 Unaposoma Yohane 10 na mstari wa 10 It talks about the work of the thief. Inaongea kuhusu kazi zake mwizi. John 10:10. Yohana 10 na mstari wa 10. The work of the thief. Kazi ya mwizi. The thief does not come except to steal, to kill and to destroy. Basi Biblia inasema kwamba mwivi haji ila kuiba, ila aibe na kuchinja na kuharibu. So everything that we lose Kwa hivyo kitu chote ambacho tutapoteza is normally taken away by the thief. Huwa kinachukuliwa na mwizi. 
the opportunities we lose zile nafasi ambazo tunazipoteza are stolen by the devil zinaibiwa na shetani the earth that we lose ile afya ambayo tunapoteza is taken away by the devil inatwaliwa na shetani even the wealth that we lose hata ule utajiri ambao tunapoteza is taken away by the devil unachukuliwa na shetani the promotion that we lose ule kupandishwa cheo ambako tunapoteza is stolen by the thief ina unaibiwa na mwizi the family struggles we go through ile mengangano ya kijamii ambao tunapitia the thief is the one who cometh to steal mwizi ndiye anakuja na kuiba and for some people he kills everything na kwa baadhi ya watu wanaua kila kitu but i thank god lakini namshukuru mungu when a tree when a tree is dead wakati mti umekufa and it senses some smell of water na unanusa uwepo eh, kuwepo kwa maji the bible says biblia inasema it is going to sprout again utaweza kuchipuka mara tena it is going to rise again utaweza kuinuka mara tena it is tena. going to manifest again utaenda kudhihirika mara tena and i want to make a declaration utakufanya matangazo everything that stopped manifesting in your life kila kitu ambacho kileacha kudhihirika katika maisha yako the season for it to manifest has come majira yacho kudhihirika umefia mimi can one person say amen tumoja sema amen it is going to sp- Brought again kitachipuka tena it is going to have life kitapata uzima and recovery will be your portion na kupata tena kutafanyika sehemu yako you are telling me pastor this is not possible unaniambia mchungaji hii haiwezekani my case is extreme e kesi yangu imeenda ikadhika i want to give you a solution to your case nataka kupatia suluhisho kwa Matthew 19:26 Matayo 19:26 mstari wa 26 Jesus looked at them and said Yesu akawatazama na akawaambia He looked at them akawatazama they were feeling it can't work walikuwa na hisia kwamba hii haifanye kazi for a rich man to sell everything kwa mtajiri kusifurahia kiki and go to heaven na kwenda mbinguni i want to speak this about the cases which have lost hope nataka kuzungumzia zile kesi ambazo zimepoteza matumaini with men kwa binadamu your case is impossible kesi yako haiwezekani Listen to me. Ne, but with God. Lakini na Mungu. You are not hearing what I'm saying. Sema, but with God. Lakini kwa Mungu. All things. Mambo yote including every difficult case. Pamoja na ile kesi ambayo ni ngumu sana. All things. Mambo yote are possible. Yanawezekana. We came today on 27th. Likuja leo tarehe 27. To announce possibilities. Kutangaza mambo kuwezekana. Where there was no possibility of recovery. Hali ambapo urejesho ungewezekana. We are here to declare. Tuko hapa kutangaza. There shall be recovery. Kutakuwa na kurudishiwa. In the mighty the name of Jesus. Kula Yesu. Can two people say amen? Watu wawili semeni amina. Now listen to me. Sasa nisikilizeni. First Samuel 30 verse 4. Samuel wa kwanza sura ya 30 mstari wa 4. David has come to Ziklag. Daudi amefika Ziklag. He was with his men of war. Alikuwa na wanaume wake wa vita. And they were coming home after being chased by their Amalek, their Philistines. Na walikuwa sasa wanarudi nyumbani kwa sababu walikuwa wamefukuzwa na Wafilisti. For some time he took refuge in his enemy's camp. Kwa muda fulani alijificha katika kambi ya maadui zake. They told him we don't trust you. Basi wakamwambia sisi hatukuamini. So go back to your camp. Na hivyo basi rudi kwa kambi yake. Then he comes with his men. Basi anarudi pale na watu wake. And in verse 1 the Bible says. Ndari wa kwanza Biblia inasema I wanted to jump but let me look at verse 1 of this. This is a chapter. Kwanza sura ya kwa sura 30. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag attacked Ziklag and burned it with fire verse 2 and had taken captive the women and those who were there from small to great they did not kill anyone but carried them away and went their way listen to me what happened and this is what has happened 
na hii pia ndiyo imefanyika i am giving you revelation mimi nakupatia ufunuo the thing that you never got kile kitu ambacho hukikipata and you desired to have it na ulitamani kukipata listen to what i'm saying nisikia vile inasema it is still there kingali kipo you know they took it unajua wale kichukua they took them wale vichukua they took the children wale chukua watoto they took the women wale wachukua wanawake they did not kill anyone they only took hawakumua yoyote walifanya tu kuwachukua wherever your money is it is intact popote pesa zako ziko ziko sawa ah look at people here they have no faith azama watu hapa hawana imani i said where your wealth is is intact nimesema mahali ambapo utajiri wako upo uko sawa where the, the recovery of your child is the child is intact pale kuregeshewa mtoto wako yupo basi huyo mtoto ni sawa the enemy has just carried them away adui tu amefanya kuwachukua kuwapeleka sari watatu the bible says biblia inasema media now you have to be faster than this david and his men came to the city and there it was burned with fire and their wives their sons and their daughters had been taken captive take me to verse 4 then david and the people were with him lifted up their voices and wept until they had no power to weep just mention that steve ipo daudi na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye wakainua sauti zao na kulia hata walipokuwa hata wakawa hawana nguvu za kulia tena some of us today wengine wetu siku ya leo i felt today yale in the morning nikahisi leo hasubui mapema that some people who came to church today ya kwamba watu wengine ambao wamekuja kanisani leo they are in a season of weeping wamo katika majira ya kulia because they realized kwa sababu walitambua everything was taken away kila kitu kilichukuliwa and the lord spoke to me naye bwana akazungumza nami he told me go tell my people akaniambia nenda uambie watu wangu to look at psalm 30 verse 5 waangalie zaburi ya 30 mstari wa 5 these are not things i read in the internet hivyo si vitu ambavyo nilivisoma katika mtandao that part b you are weeping may ye do up for a night sehemu ya pili yasema kwamba huenda kilio kilio chako huja kakao usiku this is prophetic hii sasa ni ya kiunabi if you are among those who are weeping today kama uko katikati na miongoni mwa wale ambao wanalia siku ya leo and i'm talking to everybody and anybody here na ninaongea na kila mtu na kila mtu hapa the lord is saying that is only a night it is only a season bwana mungu anasema huu ni usiku tu haya ni majira tu peke yake that is a night sasa huu ni usiku and something you need to be assured na kitu ambacho waseli kupata hakikisho your morning will come hasubui yako itakuja ah uh, you have not heard what i say ah ni kama hujasikia vile nimesema night is a season usiku ni majira it is going to be over utaenda kwisha some of you are weeping because of a person wengine wenu mnalia ni kwa sababu ya mtu I came to tell you weep not. Nilikuja kuambia usilie tena. Weep not. Wacha kulia. Weeping may endure for a night. Kilio chaweza kukaa usiku mmoja tu. But joy comes in the morning. Lakini furaha yaja asubuhi. I speak a morning. Na nena asubuhi. Before we step into September. Kabla ya tuja ingia September. I speak a morning for you. Na nena asubuhi kwako. And please when it happens. Na tafadhali inapofanyika. Send a text to me and tell me. Unitumie ujumbe uniambie. And come and testify here. Na huja kutoa ushuhuda hapa. That pastor you said. Na kwamba mchungaji ulikuwa. My morning is coming before September. Asubuhi yangu inakuja kabla ya September. And by September. Na ifikapo September. My morning has come. Asubuhi yangu imekuja 
happen to me I stand on this altar to command every night season in your life to give way for a moment in the mighty name of the Lord as I speak these are I'm emotional because some people have gone through their nights this altar is working for you may your morning come in the mighty name of the Lord for joy comes in the morning when I checked chapter 30 verse 6 I realized even the distress we are in first we are in first Samuel I discovered even the distress look at this now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him which people the people he was working with you know sometimes in our place of work there are people who look like they want to stone you Ziglag is burned the children, the daughters, the sons, the wives have been taken away. They wanted to stone the man of God. Because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons. I went to war. I went to pray. I went to help you. I have come. My sons are not here. They wanted to stone him. But something happened to David. He never wanted a part at the back by anybody. You know, sometimes when we cry, we wish somebody was there to tell us it is well. The way I do to you people. Even today somebody wrote a message to me here That the daughter is in serious pain You know she wrote and thought I have not seen She said sphere pain I told her it is well Look at this But David but David I said but David strengthened himself in the Lord God he himself when others were threatening him when he was weeping and in distress he strengthened himself I feel like releasing something upon your life may you receive the anointing to strengthen yourself when things go wrong may you receive strength I don't know why I'm preaching this message but I don't know what may come to you but anything happening to your life receive the power to strengthen yourself anybody who is frustrated here disappointed by issues disappointed by situations I came to say receive the power for inner strength in the mighty name of the Lord I am going to meet strong men and women in September people who know their God is able when the economy is going down when people are complaining we stand on this altar to say we are going to strengthen ourselves receive the grace for self strength and he went ahead in verse 7 he consulted the, and the other the priests 
Basi akashuriana na um, kuani ya biadha. He asked for the effort. Akaulizia ile ile effort. Effort ni nguo, ile mando ile nguo. Eh, hey, kile kitambaa ile nguo. And the biadha gave him the the, the effort. Na biadha kamletea ile na Ivera. You know he ended in his priestly office. Unajua aliingia katika ofisi yake ya kikuhani. Everybody here even if you are not a pastor. Kila mtu hapa hata kama wewe sio mchungaji. The book of Revelation says you are called as a king and as a priest. Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha ufunuo ya kwamba umeitwa kama kuhani na kama nabii. When things are tough, wakati mambo ni magumu, you can get into that office. Unaweza kuingia katika ofisi ile and consult na ukashauri. And while in that office. Na ukiwa kwenye hiyo ofisi. Verse 8. Sari wa 8. When he was in the priestly anointing. Alipokuwa chini ya upako wa kikuu. He went and knelt down. Yeye akaenda akapiga magoti. And he inquired of the Lord. Na akaulizia kutoka kwa Bwana. This month of September. Huu mwezi wa September. We are not going to settle down. Hatutaenda kutulia. We are going to inquire. Whatever we lost Whatever was taken away Shall I pursue my enemy I tell you we are going to pursue them like never before I will even pursue your witches And your sorcerers And your enemies Shall I overtake them The Lord answered him And the This is a message to the church. Pursue them. For you shall surely overtake them. And without fail. We cover all. I feel like preaching the gospel this afternoon. Ah, without fail. Whatever was taken away from you. Did you lose your business? Did you lose your opportunity? Did you lose your hinder field? I came to announce to you Begin to pursue it For you will overtake them And without fail You are going to recover everything We are just about to enter into a season A season of recovering everything Whether we lost it 10 years ago 5 years ago 6 years ago 20 years ago we came to announce we are recovering everything I know I'm talking to somebody who can look back and say this is not the way I'm supposed to be this is not my position this is not what I was created for I was not made for this appointment my appointment should be different This arthritis is not mine This kind of a sickness is not mine Even this cancer was not meant for me When I look around I am asking the Lord Can I pursue them? Can I? Can I pursue them? Can I pursue whoever went with my things? Can I pursue whoever went with my ministry? Can I pursue whoever went with my appointment? Can I pursue whoever has taken my children? Can I pursue the enemy who has stolen my family? Can I pursue the enemy who has stolen my brother? Can I pursue the enemy? Who has taken my energy away? Can I pursue the enemy? Who has taken away my joy? The Lord is saying, pursue them. Pursue them, pursue them. And I'm here to pursue them. For you shall surely overtake them. And without fail, I came to make an announcement. Without fail, we cover all. In the mighty name of the Lord I came 
came to announce a season a season of recovering war not some of the things but a season of recovering war take it from me take it from me can I hear somebody pray making a prayer of pursuance I pursue my destiny I pursue my destiny I take it back I take control I take dominion over my destiny in the mighty name of the Lord and the enemy who stole it must give it back because I'm not about to give up I'm here to declare I'm recovering all this is for the people who have discovered what they have been doing is not what they are supposed to be doing and now they have got a revelation that they are going to recover all your finances your position your spiritual life you are overcoming life you are family life we came to make a declaration we are recovering all can somebody give the Lord a celebration recovering all is going to be our portion in the name of Jesus can I connect this with verse 11 see where Veva is coming in when they found an Egyptian in the field and they brought him to David and they gave him bread and he ate it then they let him drink one of the person who was among his enemies the Egyptian who was running away with the things belonging to David they found him they found a helper on the side of their enemies that is favor some of the people who are going to help you are the people who were on the side of your enemies believe you me you are going to see a letter signed by somebody who was in the camp of your enemies and verse 3 of the bible says this is David now they gave him some cake to eat and the raisins to eat and they continue to talk verse 13 the bible says then David said to him to whom do you belong and where are you from he said I'm a young man from Egypt servant of an Amalekite and my master left me behind because three days ago I fell sick verse 14 quickly the bible says how they made an inversion and verse 15 they continue to, to talk can you take me down to Ethi's troops yes you are with them show me where they are and he took them he fought them and in verse 18 where we began the bible says so David let's read together one two three so David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away and then David rescued his two wives I release you to go and rescue whatever was taken away from you if your fruitfulness was stolen let me tell you the truth your season of recovery has come David recovered all can one person say amen in five minutes you can sit down steps to recovery number one approach the matter by faith oh my god 
I feel some people have really lost a lot. Na hisi kwamba watu wengine wamepoteza hakika mkingi. Opportunities. Nafasi nyingi. Call it anything. Kiite chochote. They even don't know how to recover. Hata hawajui watakipokea mara tena namna gani. Can I comment something for you? Basi niweze kupendekezea kitu. Number one, approach the matter by faith. Ya kwanza we endea hilo jambo kwa imani. Please believe. Tafadhali amini. Believe it is going to come. Amini kwamba itarudi. If you can't believe anything else. Kama hauwezi kuamini kitu kingine. Believe in what I'm saying. Amini kile ambacho ninasema. Approach the matter by faith. Endea jambo hilo ama ulishughulikie kwa Number two, take action. Ya pili chukua hatua ama fanya tendo. Dash pursue. Take, take, take action pursue. Eh fanya tendo na ufuate. I don't know what I'm about to say but I want to say this. Sijui niko tayari kusema nini lakini nitasema hivi. That it all depends on you. Ya kwamba yote inakutegemea wewe. You have faith. Imani yako. You've taken action. Umechukua hatua. Pursue. Basi ukafuate. Kuna statement ya Kiswahili inasema na liwe liwalo. Hivyo ndivyo Daudi angesema kwamba na liwe liwalo wana wake wangu wameenda watoto wangu wameenda vijana wameenda ziglanga imechomwa na liwe liwalo don't reach that level of giving up usifike hicho kiwango of giving up cha kukata tamaa whatever the case is hata kama hali iko namna gani pursue wewe fuata amen amen there are many things we said in this house kuna vitu vingi tumesema katika nyumba hii what i am lacking now are people who can pursue kile inakosa sasa ni watu ambao wanaweza kufuata don't bother about statements of other people usijali yale mausemi ya watu wengine who come telling you this one has never worked ambao wanakuja kuambia kwamba hii haikufanya kazi hey man mm -hmm. Pastor Manoa you remember some time you went for an interview and you were turned down? Mchungaji Manoa nakumbuka wakati mwingine ukaenda katika mahojiano na haukukubaliwa? I told you you do it. Nikakuambia utaifanya. And you'll manage. Na utaweza. They are the ones who called him. Sasa ndio wale walimuita. When you pursue the matter. Unapofuata hilo jambo. When you go to the priest. Unapoenda kwa and you pursue the matter. Na ufuatilie. You would have said let me wait for next time. Hata ungesema wacha ningojea ule wakati mwingine. But I know you never waited for next time. Lakini najua huku ngojea huo muda mwingine. You pursued. Wewe ulifuata. And you got it. Na ukaipata. Missing an opportunity is not the end. Kukosa nafasi sio Uh, we are going to pursue men we are going to pursue wanaume tutafuata tutafuata we are going to pursue tutafuata we are not about to give up hatuko tayari kuvunjika when i say this church will have 2000 people i mean business ninaposema ile kanisa itakuwa na waumini when i see the cathedral shall be completed in 3 years i mean business we are not about to give up we are going to pursue nasema ya kwamba hatuko tayari kuvunjika mioyo tutafuatilia don't lose your hope usipoteze tumaini let the circumstances not dictate your situation wacha hali zisiamue hali zako pursue fuatilia pursue fuatilia i need strong men here nahitaji wanaume wenye nguvu strong women wanawake wenye nguvu who can see the news wao wanaweza kuona zile habari who can see a big man speaking against what they believe wao wanaweza kuona mtu wa mwenye nguvu ambaye anaongea kinyume na kile wanaamini and come back and say na kurudi na kusema i believe in the word of god ninaamini neno lake mungu if the lord has said it kama mungu ameisema where a doctor can write something pale daktari anaweza kuandika kitu that your days are numbered and they tell you to read the literature of that sickness and you get to know people who die when it comes to this but you come back here singing a song of faith and say I believe my case is different somebody shout hallelujah number three is stick to the recovery manual. Nambari ya tatu kaa katika hilo 
hilo kote kitabu kitabu kile kita kuongoza there is a manual we call the recovery manual kuna kitabu tunakieta kitabu cha kupata tena Joshua 1:8 Joshua 1:8 mstari wa 8 Let this book of the law Na wacha hii kitabu cha Torah Never depart from your mouth Siwaitoka katika kinywa chako Just Joshua 1:8 Tupatie tu Joshua 1:8 mstari wa 8 You know meditate on it day and night Uitafakari usiku na mchana And you shall be prosperous Na wewe utafanikiwa The manual is a bible hicho kitabu ni Biblia. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Kitabu hiki cha Torati kisiwai toka kinywani mwako. You shall meditate in it day and night. Utatafakari usiku na mchana. That you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. Hili ukao mwangalifu kutayatunza yote ambayo yanaandikwa na. For then you will make your way prosperous. Kwa njia hiyo utafanya njia yako kufanikiwa. And then you are you will have good success. Na basi wewe utapata ufanisi mwema. The word of God. Neno la Mungu is your guiding principle. Ndio kanuni lako la kukuongoza. Number four, obey the instructions. Nambari ya 4 neti yale maagizo. As written here, you, you know, obey the instructions. Eh wewe utii maagizo kama vile yameandikwa. And the last one. Na ya mwisho. Move with people of your faith. Tembea na watu wa imani yako people of your faith. Tembea pamoja na watu wa imani yako. Avoid all the others as much as you can. Waepuke wale wengine vile unaweza. As found in Psalm 1 verse 1 to 3. Kama vile imeandikwa katika Zaburi ya kwanza mstari wa kwanza hadi wa tatu. Don't stand. Don't even stand. Hata usisimame. Don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Usisimame katika ushauri wa watu ambao si wao. Nor stand in the path of sinners. Ama kusimama katika njia za wenye dhambi. Nor sit in the seat of scornful people. Ama kuketi katika kikao cha wenye mezaa. But you are delighted to be in the law of the Lord. Lakini tamani yako ni kwenye katika And in his law you meditate day and night. Na katika sheria yake basi unaitafakari usiku. The result will be Matokeo yatakuwa. You will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Wewe utakaa kama mti ulio that brings forth its fruit in season whose leaf also shall not wither and whatever he does shall do what na kila alitendalo litafanikiwa so avoid the company kwa hivyo epuka kikundi avoid the sittings epuka vikao of people who may harm you vya watu ambao wanaweza kukudhuru and stick to the church na Dumu kanisani. Stay with brethren. E dumu na wapendwa. Share your secrets with prayerful people. Shiriki siri zako na watu ambao wanaomba. Not people are going to let you down. Kuna watu ambao watakuangusha. People you can believe in. Watu ambao unaweza kuamini ndani yao. David was with his men. Daudi alikuwa pamoja na watu wake. Who found an Egyptian? Ambao walimpata Misri. And they went and brought him to David. Na wakaenda wakamleta kwa Daudi. Not David who went for him. E sio Daudi alimwendea. They brought him. Walimleta They wa. were people of the same faith. Walikuwa watu wa imani moja. Can we stand on our two feet? Basi tuweze kusimama. Amen. Amen. There is a hymn that says mbele ninaendelea. Wimbo wa kitabu wa matenzi ambayo inasema mbele naendelea. We are going to sing it. Tutaenda kuimba. And everybody take two minutes. Na kila mtu chukua dakika mbili. And make a prayer. Na uombe of going to recover. Ya kwenda kupata tena. Even as you pursue. Hata unapofuata. Anything that was lost in your life. Kitu chochote ambacho kilipotea maisha ni mwako. Whatever it is. Hata kama ni nini? It is coming back. Kinakuja tena. I see it coming back. Nakiona kikirudi. I don't know what it is. Yui ni nini? But some of you are feeling bad. Lakini wengine wale mnaishi vibaya. That things are the way they are today. Kwamba vitu viko vile vilivyo. But I came to tell you. Lakini nikuja kuambia. It is coming back. Kinarudi tena. Hallelujah.
soon pursue pursue that thing that was taken away I don't know what it is it may be in your family it may be in your place of work it may be here it may be financial Father we are here to declare recovery recovery of everything that was taken away I pray for everybody under my voice who lost anything and I want to declare whatever was lost may come back may come back may be recovered may be found in the name of Jesus let it come back let peace come back let joy come back let power come back let energy come back let recovery happen in the name of Jesus we declare a season a season of recovery hear the cry the cry of your children who are saying Lord it was taken away Lord it was taken away and they are feeling now it is their season for them to recover every wasted years I declare recovery every wasted promotion I declare I announce I declare recovery every lost opportunity I declare recovery church we are praying everybody is praying pray power powerfully pray by force take it by force whatever it is pray for your parents pray for your sisters pray for your brothers pray for your sons pray for your daughters whatever was lost we declare recovery in the name of Jesus whatever it is we stand on this altar to claim recovery to claim recovery nobody under my voice is going to lose anything for them we declare recovery 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 in our families in our careers in our spiritual life in the ministries that you gave us we declare recovery in the name of Jesus we announce recovery oh my God Hallelujah! it is our season it is our season of recovery of restoration in the name of Jesus we will not only recover some things we are going to recover everything 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 hallelujah hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Asante Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Asante Mungu. It is everything. Ni kila kitu. Not some things. Sio vitu fulani. All the lost businesses. Biashara ambazo zilipotea. All the lost opportunities. Nafasi zote ambazo zimepotea. It is everything. Ni kila kitu. The lost ministries. Hema huduma ambayo imepotea. It is everything. Ni kila kitu. The lost opportunities. Nafasi ambazo zimepotea. The lost years. Miaka iliyopotea. I feel there are people here. I see who are saying I have lost years I have stagnated heaven is saying you recover all you recover all and then David recovered 
Strengthen yourself now and make a decision to move on, to move on with life. Whatever was lost, move on with life. And you shall recover. I declare a season of recovery. A season of recovery. A season of recovery. In the mighty name of the Lord. Father, I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Sunday boy. Give us a tune. Keyboard. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus.
about us. It is not about who we are. It is about you, Lord. It is about you, Lord. Things it belongs to you, Jesus. Pray for that person. Take a minute and pray for them. That the Lord may make a way for them. To recover everything. Under this heavy anointing. Pray for them, pray for them. I feel everybody needs prayer here. Pray for them. Pray for them. I declare a way. I announce a way. Lord, make a way of recovery. Lord, make a way of recovery. Make a way of recovery. In the name of Jesus. Whatever was lost, we declare. Make a way. Let them recover home. Pray for them, pray for them. Pray for them, pray for them. Ah, oh, there is recovery. There is recovery. There is recovery. There is recovery. Oh my God. Thank you for the anointing. The anointing for recovery. I pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Thank you, God. 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 Here he has happened. Here he has happened. Look at me. It has happened. Lift up your hands. You are two hands. Every power of the enemy that has come into your life and stolen your treasures. I now declare them powerless. May your treasure come back to you in the mighty name of the Lord. May hell come back to you in the name of Jesus. May spiritual gifting come to you in the name of Jesus. May dominion come back to you. Nothing shall rule you. No power of the enemy. No body sent by devils. No power sent from hell is going to rule over you. I release dominion back. 
over your life dominion over witchcraft dominion over the schemes of men dominion over the tricks of man I release dominion dominion for revelation may you see where the thing is may you have a revelation of where your trap is kept and in body trapped by the enemy I release you to your freedom in the name of Jesus every power fighting you every power fighting your family fighting your children fighting your parents fighting your brothers fighting your sisters we declare recovery we pursue them now and we take what they are holding see your enemy releasing it see your enemy releasing it your success is coming your wealth is coming your investment is coming your door is opening whatever hindrance it is we break it this afternoon in the mighty name of the Lord we set ourselves into freedom to live fruitful to multiply to have dominion to subdue the earth may everything raising itself be subdued in the name of Jesus may every weapon fashioned against your family never prosper in the name of Jesus may you overcome every word that was spoken against you by the ancestors by the people above you by the people beside you everything that was spoken and written against you now it is broken in the name of the first that of the son that of the holy Ghost. and everybody shout amen Jesus. Asante yes. Thank you for the miracles. Asante kwa miujiza. Miracles have taken place. Miujiza imefanyika. Doors have opened. Milango imefunguka. The situations have changed. Hali zimebadilika. Now I want to stand on this altar. Sasa nataka kusimama juu ya madhabahu hayo. And declare. Na kutangaza. The month of September 2023. Mwezi wa September. Our month of recovery. Mwezi wa He to recover him. Anybody who has your thing who has taken your thing and refused with it that is what sorcerers do they take your blessing and divert it and keep it I have a clear revelation tonight that what, what some of the families are going through it is the making of sorcery and witchcraft the witches are going to release it the witches are going to release your family they will release it don't even talk about men the power of God is going to bring recovery David inquired of the Lord Father I pray whatever prayer is going to be made by any one of us whether in this house or at our homes or wherever we are may that prayer be answered in the name of
of Jesus this tells me when you get an opportunity just pursue wewe fuatia teachers as you carry your books from class. Walimu mnabobeba vitabu vyenu kutoka madrasa. Go pursuing. And then mkitafuta. Some of you walk from the staff room to a class which is very far. Wengine mnatembea kutoka ofisini kwenda madrasa ambayo ni That is a time to pursue. Huu ni wakati wa kufuata. Others are working with machines. Wengine wanafanya kazi na machines. Yes you and drive those machines. Mnapoendesha hizo mashine. Pursue. And recover. So we are going to pray throughout. Throughout. As you sleep, you are in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to recover. Somebody say amen. And we are here to cover you. To cover you. Kukufunika. It's important for you to have that spiritual cover. Ni muhimu sana wewe upate huo mavule wa kiroho. And believe in it. Na uamini ndani yake. There is what I do hapo adoso. Kuna kile ambacho nafanya kwenda juu. To be covered. E kufunika. That anointing comes down over you. Huo pako unakuja chini mpaka That is why you can also cover people. Hii ndio sababu tena pia wewe unakufunika. Of course you are covered. Kwa sababu umefunika. May anybody under you. Mtu yeyote aliyechelewa. Remain covered. Akakaa akiwa amefunikwa. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Allow me to pray for Maundu's family. Nataka kuombea familia ya Maundu. Elizabeth I will pray for you. Elizabeth nitakuombea. And then all the students will pray for them. Na wanafunzi wote tutawaombea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. a minute our daughter is you travel to go abroad ileto uh, tusafiri kwenda ngambo you are safe wewe uko salama and you will experience god na utapatana na mungu mom you will take care of her mom ata yeah i know they cannot just go the two of them but a door will open later lakini mlango utafunguka baada one day you will go to the us siku moja utaenda marekani we are prophesied that. Tunatabiri hiyo. Engineer even you and mom and dad mtaenda. Engineer vile vile na mom na dad. So this is a great honor. Basi hii ni heshima kuu. To have one of us fly. Kupata mmoja wetu akienda ngambo. To go and work. Kwenda kufanya kazi. May all your desires. Matamanio yako yote. Be met by the Lord. Yakakutwana nayo na Mungu. When I'm broad depend on God. Ukiwa kule ngambo mtegemee Mungu. Don't change your mind. Usibadilishe nia yako. Don't pick other cultures and behaviors. Usikue tamaduni zingine na manisabia. Stand firm. Wewe simama dhabiti. Don't be swayed by anything. Usielekeze kingine na kitu kingine. Stand firm. Wewe simama kwa nguvu. And you are going to see the Lord. Na utamuona Bwana. So we want to pray for you. Basi nataka kuombea. Church stretch your hands so that I can anoint her. Kanisa muelekeze mikono ili mpake mafuta. And anoint the others. Na ni wapake mafuta. We anoint our sister Lord. Tunapaka mafuta dhabiti. She is flying to go to America. Anaenda Marekani. We now cover her. Sasa tuamafunika. With the power of God. Kwa nguvu za Mungu. With the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya the flights and vehicles another means of transport that she is going to use may she find favor with you may she be protected we say no accident no arm into our mind no arm into our body she will be saved abroad in the mighty name of the Lord she will be secure 
from the attacks of foreign gods in the name of Jesus. This oil of the anointing may yet protect her and the keeper in the name of Jesus. May she be protected in the name of the Lord and the job she is going to find. We secure it now in the name of Jesus and we declare she is going to become great and be useful in the kingdom of God in supporting other people in raising other people she is going to be an example and a role model to the young people we bless her with all the blessings I anoint the father also let him continue to be a blessing the way he has been a blessing we anoint the small daughter let her be a blessing grow to find favor with you and find favor with men we anoint the mother we declare she is blessed by this anointing and the engineer we cover her with the blood of Jesus we cover him with the blood of Jesus let him be protected we take these documents the passports the visa we dedicate all our documents to you O oh God peace and documents of favor they are not like another we dedicate them to you in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and everybody say Amen Amen, Amen. Thank you Ah these people are blessed Amen Blessed. Thank you. You are blessed. God bless you. One hour, buddy. It is done. You know, Amen. You know, Asana, Asana. Thank you. Elizabeth, please. Elizabeth, Kuja. And on behalf of any other person who is unwell, this oil is going to, 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 to deal with the situation. Elizabeth, as you go for surgery, rest assured that we are together. You are not alone. God has decided that surgery will heal you and you won't lose anything because everything has been done on this altar you are truly our daughter in this house and we stand with you you are not alone you are brothers here and sisters and a spiritual authority you came here and you cried to me one long time ago and I prayed for you to get saved at one point it really hurt me let us stand make a prayer if you can thank you Jesus Somebody make a prayer for her. Make a prayer for her. It is well, it is well. It is well with her. It shall be well. Even at the hands of the surgeon. It is going to be well in the arms of the surgeon. It is going to be well. She is protected. She is covered. She is taken care of. She is your child. She is your child. We pray for victory in the entire process. Lord, I thank you. And I honor you. Let this anointing bring light in our lives in the hands of the doctor. She is healed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And everybody say Amen. 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 You are blessed. 
You are blessed. Go away. You are blessed. Can I have uh, students? I want to